Hi everyone, this is my new system. Uh, I just changed yesterday from 48 volt to uh, 24 volts, and there's a new layout. It looks like a like a tall uh, pack now. It's it's like a, in a way it's like a several story building. Uh, so to say and uh, this is much more compact this way as you can see uh, it takes less uh, less space on the floor in my bedroom here we have um, uh, eight times uh, four cells in parallel eight series four parallel here that's one one piece, one group of four, one group of four, all linked in series here. I broke the pack with a breaker, 100 amp breaker, I hope you can see that. Um, here we find this uh, kilovac, uh, Tyco kilovac contactor, of course it breaks uh, 500 amps, I think it's uh, way uh, overkill but it's always good for the future, we never know it should be handling easily of course this 30 amps I have three small QTI inverters here they are, um, this is number one Sun 250G this is another Sun 3 250G and this is a 300 same family. These are uh, 10.8 volt to 30 volts, and uh, so it's perfect for this uh, 24 volt uh, pack. Um, this one has had a little problem, which changed. I had the, my father changed the MOSFETs, and I realized it just gives the output gives uh, 60. 60 something 60 65 watts only and it's it's noisy it's a bit noisy the other two ones untouched are original and are not noisy at all very silent so we'll see the advantage of using this 60 sometime my home consumption is like 70 so it might be a perfect fit here so the new thing is, of course is this um, stacking three uh, GTIs in parallel I was told that it can work, no problem, so they're in parallel they're all on the same hope you can see that all on the same uh, yeah, I should show you this uh, same minus here and the pack goes like this up to here positive is here so we have the full 24 volts This is it. So to, tomorrow I'm gonna uh, no, I'm gonna show you what it does. Yeah, what I forgot to say is that now I have uh, these three grid inverters hooked up to these uh, outlets. These are remote controlled by this small remote. Eventually in the future it's possible to control this on an iPhone or iPad app uh, if I add a little module that can connect through Wi-Fi but for now it's a bit too expensive and I'm just doing this to to switch from one, two, three so I'm gonna show you this uh, let's power the contactor here see the red lights meaning the DC side is on and of course I can control the AC side here with my remote so if I press uh, 1 it's gonna it's gonna give the AC si uh, switch on the AC side and it's gonna uh, go from fault to uh, output so let's try that Here it comes. So it's producing, like I said, 60, 65. 
what it does of course it lowers the my consumption at the on the grid oh, my wife is starting cooking so we're gonna have figures are going going uh, pretty high it's a bad moment let's switch on the second one Here we produce, we give feeding back to the grid 280. So it's a send to 50, but it only gives to 220 in reality. Let's do the third one. Oops, that's the first. Third. Here it comes. And the total is gi giving me three, uh, 533, more or less. So we're using the three GTIs now in parallel, pushing almost 550, about 500. So now if I stop the first one, I'm gonna do this like this, yes. Hope you can see that. Second one and third one. So it's not very obvious what it does because we have several things going on in the house. As I said, my wife is starting to cook, so it just goes up and down. Uh, maybe I'll do a, uh, another video later. Now uh, that we have a more stable consumption here, 180, I'm gonna try again. On. On here too. So 180, I should be able to cover that with uh, uh, number 2, that's uh, GTI number 2, that's providing 220, let's, let's try, mm, that must be the fridge starting or something, there's a TV plus, uh, I don't know what, uh, 70 watts, that's uh, that's about uh, three, two to three hundred. Let's see if we can cover cover that. So number two is starting here, and let's see. Not bad. That's not bad. So we know that the one, uh, number one is uh, pushing sixty. So let's. Uh, Let's do the number one. Two. And that's, uh, yeah, that's going close to zero. That's a good, uh, that's a good match. So now I'm consuming almost, almost no, nothing from the grid. And pushing. 280 watts. We are still close to zero, that's perfect.
we step number one. Ah, number GTA number two fan is starting. This one is very silent. You can barely hear it. It's very very discreet. That's what I like about the small GTIs. They're very discreet. Don't eat up too much. That's perfect. Now GTI number 2 has been running for 5-10 minutes and we're close to close to zero uh, well, first is still, I'm gonna try to switch to number 3 which is uh, putting out uh, much, uh, just a, a little bit more let's see so we're gonna start uh, number 3 here and stop uh, as it catches on number two it's gonna catch on right that's a bit better it's actually pushing 250 that's a 300 but it's pushing in reality 250 which is not bad So now we're going under zero. It's a bit difficult to to match exactly the home consumption, of course, because it's com going up and down. But uh, yeah, at least I can do this from my bed now while I watch the W W D C. Let's go back to number two and step three. It's a bit better. Well, I'm gonna see what I can do about this. Now I start number one and stop number two. Mm. Not pushing enough. Not pushing enough. Let's do number two again. And stop number one. Right, going back to minus 20. Oh, that's fine. Let's call it uh, close to zero. <laughs> so, see you. Bye.